But what is going on, everyone? We're going dino hunting today. Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. We got two collector booster boxes, finally, of Lost Caverns of Ixalan. What a great set this was. Our pre-release was awesome. It was a lot of fun, um, and people really enjoyed the set. These boxes are for David. David, thank you for being such an awesome uh, supporter of the channel. Uh, I'm gonna throw in this amazing Black Lotus spin down counter for you for free my friend because you've been such a good customer uh, and these are going to be actually uh for sale at gamegrove.gg and then they will be part of a black friday bundle that we'll announce uh next week uh but if you want just this go on over to gamegrove.gg they are freaking huge they are massive i'll compare it to a card uh, in a second but um absolutely cool all right we're going to the, the lost caverns of ixalan we got box toppers we've got um uh, amazing cards we've got cavern of souls uh mana crypt i mean it's like it's crazy uh let's get right into the foil treasure trove box topper ready here we go here we go let's get it what's it gonna be what's it gonna be uh oh a worn power stone not the best one you could have done david not the best one not the best all right let's get going uh, i have not opened any collector boosters of this uh, and we sold out of set boxes on pre-release night. It was it was crazy. Um, so I have not gotten to open a ton of this set. We're gonna enjoy it here together. Thousand Moon Infantry, uh, contested game ball, Earth Shaker, Dread Maul. Lots of um. There's not that many dinosaurs, uh, but lots of tribal themes in this set that I think a lot of people like. And then these lands that people either love or hate. I personally, these are not my favorite lands. Uh, but people either love them or hate them. Here's your showcase variant on here on the Zoyowa, 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 Lava Tongue. Kind of cool one. Goblin Warlock. Uh, then the rarity symbol is also very hard to see from afar. Cosmium Confluence, our first rare. Sunken Citadel. Alenda's uh, Hierophant. Vampires. You've got humans. You've got a lot of tribal stuff going on. And then this is the Jurassic Park slot, Looping Paradon, uh, followed by a Squirming Emergence. So um, the set is very thematic and very um, creature-centered, um, tribal-themed, and a lot of people really, really like that. Uh, there's a lot of people who like the back to the basics of magic, and that's one of the reasons I think this set is doing so well. Um, from a, a perspective of game stores having a lot of people at their events. Heathrow Pilgrimage icon. Oh, our first mythic here is the Skull Spore Nexus. What does this do? Well, this spell costs X to cast, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. Oh, X less. That's cool. One or more non token creatures you die, create a fungus dinosaur creature token. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good uh, green mythic. Ooh, and a treasure map. Uh, you always like the treasure map. So, um, again, when things are are low to the ground and kind of themed around um, around creature types that people understand, and it just seems easier for people to hop in, uh, people like that. So, um, I'm not surprised that this set is doing well. Okay, so that's not a showcase here, and it's just the extended art. Oh, and we got the most expensive. I can't pronounce it. What, what I can oiter tag deepest foundation. This is the triple the tokens. That's a $28 non foil card. Uh, probably a, a good bit on the foil. Um, that's crazy. Actually, that brings up a good point that foil multiplier right now may actually be a little bit higher than normal for these because of the delay. Bringer of the last gift. That artwork is so cool. Look at that vampire demon, dude. I love that artwork. That's super cool. Uh, and a ravenous Tyrannosaurus. Okay. Dinosaurs ruled the earth. I really like the, uh, I, I think that when they do themes, like, so like, um, for, for, uh, what was it? For Brothers War, Megatron and, uh, that kind of thing. That one didn't fit. I know they're brothers and they were at war. I know whatever the lore, but it didn't feel like it fit. Dinosaurs fits in this so the universe is beyond on this is actually kind of cool um and i i don't mind it a uh, resplendent angel pretty cool and green evangelist and then i just love like vampires and dinosaurs and that whole realm of 
creature types. A weird random swamp. Oh, that's the that's cool. That's the Jurassic Park swamp. Huh. I wonder if there's any other place to get those. Because that might be a an expensive lance, you know, three or four bucks is expensive for a basic lance. That might be an expensive land cycle if that's the only plot that you can get those in. Uh yeah. Alright, so again a set where a lot of people are going to like it because they can identify with the the themes and it's not you know overwhelming to them uh and i think that's why like our pre-release was packed we had 50 people at pre-release a back of the surging soul merfolks merfolks getting a little love alcazaz al al alcalacazaz deepest betrayal listen i'm not gonna pronounce these things right a bat god flying with lifelink four four for five Whenever it attacks, each opponent discards a card. For each opponent, you can't. You draw a card. That's pretty good. Whenever opponent discards a land card, create a bat token. When it dies, return it to the battlefield tapped and transform. Wow, that seems cool. That seems pretty cool. Congrats. Another god card. Anathratios, Triton Hero, as well as another one of the basic lands. See, like, that's gonna... People are gonna want that in their dino decks. I have a dino deck. Um, all right, we're halfway through the box here. Uh, we'll start trying to go a little quicker. I just like, in, I enjoy looking at the cards too. Problem. I do this for myself as much as I do it for you guys. Unstable. I can't pronounce any of these, these names. Heratide. Wave goodbye. Uh, another, oh, this is a human advisor. See, like, I, I thought that this was a god just based on the artwork. Human advisor. First among equals. Ian Malcolm. Okay. I don't think those are going to be like that valuable. They're in one in every 12 set packs too. Um, I don't anticipate those being huge hits. I do think the Jurassic Park fans will have a little binder that uh, they have those in. That could be pretty cool. Uh, there's Cavern of, Cavern of Souls in here at Mythic, I believe. Uh, so we, we might see one of those in the two boxes. Uh, but that card has come way down in price, down to like $27. Corpse of the Lost. Forming Emergence or Rich the Lactite. Ooh, the Ancient One, another god. Let's see what this god does. All right, Demir God, Descend Eight. The Ancient One can't attack or block unless there are eight or more permanent cards in your graveyard. Wow. Draw a card, then discard a card. When you discard a card this way, target player mills cards equal to his mana value. And then you have an eight, eight. Oh, wait. I thought it got transformed. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why I thought that. Anyway, cool. The Ancient One. And an island. See, like that's a cool island. Breaches. Um, yeah, so uh, lots of cool cards in this set. I think this set's going to do really good. Um, and then you have like the super flashy uh, variants of a couple of cards in here. Uh, and we'll see if we pull any of those. Those are like one in... Uh, you pull one in less than 1% of booster boxes. So I'm not anticipating we pull any of the flashiest stuff. Relentless, restless events, hunting Velociraptor. Cool. Velociraptors are the best dinosaurs. Argue that in the comment section, everyone. Velociraptors are the best dinosaurs. That's a hot take. But they they hunt in packs, right? They you know they've got they've got they're they're tough to take down. Planes. Okay, those are growing on me. By the way, they're growing on me. Uh, the Sunborn, Relentless Vats, Braided Net, Illustrious Wonderlife, Restless Ridgeline, Permission Denied, and the Great Door Artifact. Draw a card, discard a card for three, pay to transform. Get, uh, add X mana in one color where X is the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. That seems pretty good. It's like a little not Gaia's Cradle. The little Gaia's Cradle effect, though. Ramp yourself up. Swamp? Oh, what's that swamp look like? Yeah. I can see why people like those. Again, not for me. Breaches. Get lost. Hit the mother load. Redemption Choir. Uh, all right, here's another Cat Noble. I like this showcase. Whenever attacks for each creature control, put a power greater than the creature face power, put a number of 1-1 one, one counters. It does 1-1 one, one counter things. There's a surprise. Cats doing 1-1 one, one counter things. Command Tower and a Confluence. So, if you uh, played in pre-release, if you have enjoyed this product, tell me why in the comment section. I'm curious to hear from not just my locals, 
Um, but what is what is doing well for you, or what are you excited about in this set? Another breach is Stormfleet and Souls of the Lost. Not much there. Oily uh, Dinosaur Land and Bringer of the Last Gift. I really love that artwork. That's like my favorite artwork in the set by far. Last pack of this box. Let's see if we get anything crazy. Mountain, the Prestido, Tree Folk, Treasure Map, another um, Merfolk, the Habak of the Surging Soul, the Mythic, Molten Collapse, Dinosaur Land, and Underworld Breach. Okay. Really cool artwork on that Underworld Breach. Uh, this is a special guest slot. Okay, I'm not sure how many other special guest slots we pulled because the, the logo looks the same, but uh, that's that's still cool hit. All right, let's go on to box two, my friend. David, thank you again for allowing me to open up this stuff. If anyone's looking for boxes, you can go to gamegrove.gg where you can pick up booster boxes. I think we're about close to TCG player after fees and stuff. Uh, you're sitting at 225 for booster boxes. Uh, what do we get? Everflowing Chalice, okay. Cool card, not the best. Your, uh, your box topper slot was not the greatest in these openings, my friend. But you got a cool Black Lotus spin down out of it. Oh, I didn't show you guys the size of that thing. Look, that's it. The 20 is at the same height as it's huge. It's like two and a half inches. Um, it's massive. Uh, mountain. Presidento, we just got that card. He's one card. Oh, Gahalta, Stampede Tyrant. Let's go. Mythic on that. Uh, beautiful, awesome, huge dinosaur card. Another command tower. Interesting. Duplication on a lot of that stuff from the same, the last pack. We had the same, uh, same uh, showcase card and same. Oil. All right, planes. Earth Shaker Dreadmaw. I love the artwork on these dinosaurs. Braided Net. Is that a mythic? No. It's hard to see the uh, the coloring on the the symbol. Deep Root Historian. Wall of the Forgotten. I really like that showcase, that artwork. Those things look cool. Ravenous Tyrannosaurus. We saw that. Another Thrasios. All right. I don't know the size of the set. It seems like we're hitting quite a bit of duplication already in the rare and mythics. Did not notice that or hear about that improvement. Um, it's something I should probably keep in mind is the size of sets. Uh, Fabrication Foundry. Maybe we're just getting a lot of duplicate for other reasons. Corpse of the Lost. Abacol of the Surging Soul. Another Mythic. Restless Prairie. Uh, Tapland. Ooh, the Grim Gigantosaurus. A Gruel. That's crazy. A Gruel Dinosaur. Don't see that every day. And we got ourselves a adventure card. That's cool. Of Kellen Daring Traveler. I kind of like that artwork. Anyway, um, I think uh, these sets that uh, that have these collector boxes coming out, I think these are going to do pretty well long term, especially with um, like Wilds of Eldrain. We saw what seems to be a reduction in print, you know, quantity, and I think that's really good. Um, I think if they hone in the print run on this stuff, uh, boxes can, can stabilize. And I think that's really good. Don Andres, the Renegade Vampire Pirate. Or, that be a cool commander. Trumpeting Dinosaur and Tarion's Journal. Uh, if they can hone in on the print runs on this stuff, uh, I think collector boxes can turn around, especially when they mix that with the play boosters for stores. I know from a consumer perspective, it doesn't change a ton. But from stores, our spend goes down um, because we we don't need to like over order on draft boxes and stuff. Um, and even like the pre-release kits, having play packs is going to go a long way. Uh, squirming emergence. So you mix that with maybe a a more a more structured collector box print run, and stores don't have to dump product as much because they don't have this. Uh, way too much um you know draft boxes and things sitting back um i think it's i think it has potential to be pretty good jade light belunker i like that card contest of claws relentless Leap reef and a sahili sun's brilliance beautiful artwork on sahili this box seems not very good david this box seems like you're you're taking an l and i apologize for that 
This box seems not super great. Island, Thrashing Brunt. I remember when this card was in, um, it was in some sort of like exclusive to Walmart kit and I bought a ton of them. Um, and I was like selling the, just the singles on that Xavier Sal and Festive Captain. There's some cool commanders in here. Populate, remove a counter from another permanent control. There's some cool commanders. Roaming Throne, Permission Denied, and a Trumpeting Carnosaur. Okay, where are the Mythics? Where are the Mythics in this box? We got five packs left. We've got no Cavern of Souls. Uh, we have one of the White God things. Uh, that's kind of cool. But other than, oh, we got a green, green God. Green God. There we go. I can't pronounce that name. Warrior Aslam Deepest Growth. All right, we got the green God. And this flips over to pretty cool. Bird. All right. We got the green one. Growing Rights. Singer of Swift River. Oh, another mythic. Look at that artwork. The Myco Tyrant. Elder Fungus. Freaking cool. Uh, and then an intrepid paleontologist. So I'm noticing in all collector boxes, maybe this is something everybody else has known, but you have a lot of clumping of the mythics in packs. Like we just got a two mythic pack. I noticed this when I was opening up all the um, all the Lord of the Rings last week. Uh, you have these packs that are just so good. Like, so good. Balmarder. Uh, okay, we got another, the, the bat god again. Here we go. I love that god. That's Dino DNA. Watch out. Don't spill the dino DNA. And bridge from below. Really dark artwork there. Interesting. Very cool card. All right. Three packs left, everyone. Let me know what you're thinking about Ixalan. Why is it doing well? Is it is it just a farce because the collector boxes are delayed? Uh, is magic dying? Terror Tide? Bygone Marvels? And Pack Heal, Thousand's Moon, Mountain, and a Roaming Throne. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, <laughs> where will these cards hold up? How will they hold up? And uh, are you excited for Standard? This one is uh, launching with this re innovation of Standard. Bone Horde Drachiosaur. Well, that's a that's a pretty good card. I think that's like a ten fifteen dollar card. Can we evangelize us again? Uh, this is also, you know, being, oh, giant shark. Where's, where's Josh? Uh, this is being released with the, uh, the re-innovation of standard and, re, you know, pushing standard. So will this bring people into standard? I hope so. Um, because we're starting standard at our store. So the Raptor last pack, my friend, David, thank you for letting me open your box. I'll have this stuff sent out to you. Ooh, the skull, skull spore nexus. Cool artwork. Blue, Oil Raptor, and Poetic Engine. All right, everyone. Uh, David, rough second box, good first box. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Have yourselves a great day. Be kind to the people around you. We'll see you again next video.